Do you ever feel stuck, like you're living your life on autopilot? Are you ready to shift into high gear and reach the success you so richly deserve? Welcome to the Play Big Movement podcast. I am your host, Sharon Lecter, entrepreneur, business strategist, and best-selling author. Playing big is not about settling for good enough or being comfortable. It is about reaching your highest potential and achieving your greatest success. Join me in my Play Big Movement as I interview top experts in business, money, and entrepreneurship, all ready to serve you and to help you play big, be number one in your field, live your legacy, and create maximum impact. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this segment of the Play Big Movement podcast. I'm Sharon Lecter, your host. And I'm actually excited about today's segment because I love to learn and I like to share um, opportunities for you in your own life and in your businesses. And I've known Kenner French for about a little over a year, year and a half, almost two years. And um, I'm so impressed by what he does and how he's taking a a tried and true profession in the world of tax planning and tax strategy and bringing it into the modern world. So Kenner, thank you so much for being with us today. This is an amazing opportunity. I love getting the chance to talk to someone who basically was one of my idols growing up. And uh, this is a big deal. I'm glad I'm here. And uh, hopefully I can add value to you and your audience all at the same time. Well, there's no doubt that we're going to have a fun time today. So, Kenner, when I before we get into the meat of what you do today, I always like to have my guests talk about how they got started and talk us, to us a little bit about little Kenner. How did you get started? You know, I have a unique background in that, you know, now I'm doing a bunch of technology, fintech, if you will, pretty advanced stuff. Uh, When I started out in business, that wasn't the case. You know, I, you know, right after leaving Harvard, I thought I was just going to be an investment guy. That's all I wanted to be. Right. And then all of a sudden I started to figure out that really there's two things that actually can help business owners or clients. And that's one technology and then two lowering taxes. So now I'm at the, basically the kind of, I'm, I'm one of the, I will say, kind of a big star in that world, bringing those two things together, artificial intelligence, i.e. technology, and then also taxes and trying to lower tax liability. So all the way along, all the way through my career, I've decided to do things that are in line with that. So I ended up, uh, you know, jumping on board with a company called Vast Solutions Group dot com, which I you know came to in 2006 in an effort to, again, help small business owners to lower tax liability with technology, artificial intelligence. And all the way along the line, I've been able to do that. And somehow I'm getting some people who are now talking about me thinking I'm kind of cool by doing so. And I've gotten, you know, I've, now I'm working on my fourth book. Uh, I do a bunch of writing for, I've you know, the AI journal. And then also I'm a former contributor to Forbes.com as a fo- small business uh, contributor. So, you know, all the way along the line, I've done technology and taxes. And uh, here I am today hanging out with, uh, once I, once again, uh, one of my big idols, that would be uh, Sharon Lecter. <laughs> Thank you, Kenner. Yeah, it's been great. I, we met at a mastermind. So again, this is tried and true proven theory behind my talking about the power of association. And so I've been intrigued with all that you do. Talk a little bit about before we started this interview, you were talking about how business owners are leaving a lot of money on the table. So talk about what you just love to do for business owners. Yeah. You know, once again, I keep saying, you know, about technology and lowering taxes nowadays with the new tax laws, tax regime, if you will, people don't realize that the doors open. If you're using, let's say artificial intelligence or who knows, Claude or Gemini, or, you know, maybe even chat GPT in your business and you're being innovative, The government now really more than ever is opening its coffers and giving you tax credits, not deductions, but giving you tax credits, which are sometimes better than tax deductions. And that could be the case on both the state and the federal level. So I think a lot of business owners are going to be leaving money on the table because their advisors might not know about such things as research and development tax credits. But it's something that pretty much all business owners, if they're using, you know, chat GPT, et cetera, that they should at least think about because there's ways that they could be uh, getting money back from the at least federal government, if not the state government as well. And if they talk to their own tax accountant and they're not versed on it, how do you, where do you recommend they go to learn more about it? 
And we'll just, you know, just like you said, I think it probably makes sense for them to go back to their own tax advisor because they know their situation. Let's say a small business owner probably does have a tax advisor or tax preparer. They should go back to that person. That's what I would say, number one. But number two, maybe a good resource would be, you know, tax credit intel. Dot com taxcreditintel.com, which outlines a lot of resources for research and development tax credits. Um, it's a good, good, good place to go at kind of as a first step of learning about research and development tax credit. It's the biggest uh, website of its kind. And then also, hey, if they need some help, they could obviously go to our website, which is vastsolutionsgroup.com. We have a lot of resources with respect to research and development tax credits, both at the state and federal level. And it's not really a sales website. It's really an educational website that can hopefully help people to understand what research and development tax credits are. And then also, you know, who knows, maybe if they are eligible, it could kind of guide them along the way. And we'll have those uh, website references in the show notes. You also have your own personal website, arkenofrench.com, if people want to get to know a little bit more about you. So you live in the Northwest. We were just talking about it. You live on an island and you love it up there. And uh, with the world that we live in now, everything's virtual. So you can serve clients all over the world, I'm sure. But uh, tell us what's, you know, what, what's on your agenda. Obviously, you're in the midst of all this new opportunity with the bill and helping people. So I think you're going to take off like a rocket ship. But what, what are you looking for in the future? You know, well, you know, there's, I would say two things. We're still going to continue to push the envelope as far as research and development with respect to artificial intelligence and how to help business owners with uh, artificial intelligence, which by the way, we've been doing really, we started the, really doing the research 2010, 2014 is when we re- fully went into it in 2018 is when we started our, our own model uh, called Einstein. Um, but really that's, that's kind of number one, you know, in an, in a way to lower tax liability for business owners, artificial intelligence. But I think the next thing, the next wave, if you will, will be quantum computing. I think quantum computing is going to, it's really the, the holy grail of, uh, you know, for entrepreneurs and specifically for tax mitigation. I think that, uh, we're doing research in that we're going to be pushing the envelope and, uh, I'm going to be throwing some, uh, new things out there in just a little bit about, uh, quantum computing and how one can use it to lower tax liability. So quantum computing on top of AI is going to only increase the amount of uh, energy needed and data processing centers, right? We're going to yes, see and, and continue that is a downside, fight. by the way. Yes, I think yeah. both two things, uh, you know, that's the downside, I would say, of artificial intelligence it takes a lot of quantum, a lot of uh, computing power. And I think um, quantum computing, uh, what I would say is, you know, that's still going to take some resources, but it could lessen the load as far as artificial intelligence, computing power and, and environmental power and footprint, et cetera. Well, that's good to know. That's good. So from a standpoint of business owners out there, uh, obviously not taking advantage of things that are available through tax credits, but also just understanding tax strategies and how to maximize the profitability of the company. What are some of the things that you see companies um, making poor decisions about? Well, number one, first and foremost, I think they're really missing the boat in planning. I know it sounds crazy. It seems simple, right? Planning, tax planning, financial planning. I think one, you know, hanging out and talking to people like you as far as financial planning is crucial, number one. Uh, then number two, I think tax planning is in line with that. A lot of people say, even tax advisors, April 15th comes, this is what your tax liability is. Not good, right? What you should do is for the prior year, let's say January 1st or every quarter thereof, really you should start doing the planning to figure out what your tax liability will be and then work backwards to put in structure, put in strategies in place to lower the tax liability. That's the reason we've been such advocates of artificial intelligence to be able to lower tax liability. Because sure, we're, we're human. We only have so much time. We can make errors, et cetera, just like artificial intelligence can make errors. But then again, if you work in, in concert with one another, meaning humans and technology, you could truly lower your tax liability to an extent a lot of people didn't realize based on just doing planning, plan forward and then strategize backwards to lower the tax liability. There's so many cool new things out there as far as artificial intelligence and lowering lowering tax liability. People just are not aware. It just blows me away. It, well, and a lot of them put their head in the sand. They just figure they'll yeah. do it. And they're, you know, I not to knock my own profession because I was in accounting and tax, but a lot of um, tax strategists are truly only practitioners. They just do the taxes. They don't really roll up their sleeves and help the clients plan for the future. 
And, you know, we don't know what we don't know. And most business owners, mm. as you say, I love that it is the true term, leave a lot of money on the table and write bigger checks than they need to. And the tax code was written to support and inspire entrepreneurship and, and help small businesses succeed. And yet we don't take advantage of all those um, opportunities. And I think particularly, we are sitting here recording this for those of you watching, listening, recording in 2025, the bill has just been passed. But these things, a lot of the tax deductions that were going to expire at the end of the year are now made permanent. So this mm -hmm. is going to be an ongoing issue. If you are watching or listening from a global perspective, understand that what happens in the United States will impact the global market. And so being aware of the changes and the impact and the opportunities that are being created is very important. So educate yourself and um, make sure you re-listen to this and share it with friends that you know need to have the information. So, Kenner, what do you see from a standpoint of the impact on this bill on the overall economy? And I, he was not forewarned by my questions, by the way. So there we go. I pers by the way, I'm neutral politically. I'm not Democrat, Republican. I'm in the middle, generally speaking. Although I will say it socially, I might be a little tiny liberal, but uh, financially, fiscally, I'm a little bit more uh, on the right. But anyway, I'm considering myself in the middle. But what I would say to your question is, I believe it will help the economy. It will truly maybe make it a lot, when I say it, meaning the tax bill, make it a lot better for as an environment for entrepreneurs. So if anyone wants to be an entrepreneur, I would say right now is the time to be an entrepreneur more than ever, because I think there's so many things that are opening the door for entrepreneur, meaning now there's more opportunity as far as artificial intelligence goes, number one. Then number two, the tax liability potentially on an absolute basis is going to go down. So if you're even thinking about being an entrepreneur right now is the time. Also, number one, let's say you're an entrepreneur and you're at X amount of revenue and you want to take it to the next level. Right now is the time to take full advantage. It's all steam ahead. Right now is the time to take advantage of the new tax law because I think it's going to be really beneficial for, at a minimum, entrepreneurs, if not others as well. I couldn't agree with you more. I think it is, is opening lots of doors of opportunity. I mean, you know, entrepreneurs, successful businesses solve a problem or serve a need. And we've got a lot of problems and needs out there. And we've been coupling that now with new opportunities for starting to build into business with the new tax advantages. So yeah. if it, I totally agree. If you ever, ever decided you wanted to do a business now, is that there's no better time than today. So I love well, it. Plus, the tax code, in my opinion, generally is basically really in favor of an entrepreneur. I mean, being an employee at W-2, by the way, I'm not kicking or knocking W-2 employees, but there's only so many ways you can lower tax liability legally, morally, and ethically. But at the same time, entrepreneurs, I think really, you know, we're an entrepreneurial spirited people here in the United States. And the tax code is written for people who, one, own businesses, two, own real estate, in my opinion. So right now is the time to take advantage. If you want to start a business with all the AI, as I mentioned, that is out there now, Wow, I can't think of a better time than also the tax code, et cetera, and simplification of some of the forms going forward. Right now is the time to take advantage of, uh, you know, deciding to go from the W-2 world to the entrepreneurial world right now is the time. You heard it here, and I couldn't say, um, put a couple of exclamation points after what Kenner just shared. He's going to hang out with me, and we're going to do another recording for the private Facebook group, the Play Big Movement. But if you have... Um, Please let us know, let us hear from you, share this with your friends so they can get the benefit of Kenner's wisdom and know that uh, I so appreciate your time, Kenner. And again, let's repeat your websites for people so they can have that. Yeah, my website, that, or my personal website, rkennerfrench.com, which is R-K-E-N-N-E-R, French, F-R-E-N-C-H.com. The company, vastsolutionsgroup.com. A number of tools and resources there for an entrepreneur who wants to better themselves financially, but also really uh, tax tax wise. And then uh, the other uh, website I mentioned is taxcreditintel.com, taxcreditintel.com, which is a neutral site. It should help an entrepreneur who's thinking about you know using the r d tax credits to their advantage and really most people who are probably watching and listening to this probably should at least take a look at that website it's a good good resource for an entrepreneur that's fantastic thank you again so much for being with me and we're gonna um say goodbye to the people watching and listening to this podcast but make sure if you've not 
join the Facebook group you do so you can hear the rest of Kenner's story. And I just know that you have enjoyed this session because I have, and thank you, Kenner, again. And I just want to thank everybody watching and listening for being and participating in this segment of the Play Big Movement podcast. Have a great day. You are fabulous. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening to this segment of the Play Big Movement podcast. Please subscribe to iTunes and leave us a review, as well as join us in other areas of social media, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, at Sharon Lecter, and for Facebook, author Sharon Lecter. Thank you so much and have a fabulous day.